Hi guys, welcome back to Dreamweb. Today we're gonna proceed with the pool hall bar. Okay, so we just came in. So let's inspect the shelf. Shelf. In each corner of the room, opposite the bar is a shelf that can be used for putting drinks on. Drinks on. There is a purple light fitted into the front of the shelf. There is no use for the shelf. Okay. In each corner of the room, okay, it's the same information here. So, trivia machine. Trivia machine. This machine has seen better days, but it still seems to work. Pressing a button, uh, the machine asks what 8813723 divided what by 27? Seems a bit tricky, doesn't it? Okay, that's not a question I can answer. <laughs> Okay, Let's see. A small circular seat covered in black leather that stands on a single steel leg uh, that is bolted, bolted to the floor. You look around the bar and decide that you ought to get in and out of here as quickly as possible. Okay, yeah, the guys look tough. Card scanner, okay. Man, man, man. So they do not specify their names. We can go left, steps, probably in some basement. Okay, let's talk to this guy. Stood in one corner of the room on his own is a man who looks nervous. He swaps his balance from foot to foot and glances around the room furtively. He has a tattoo on his arm, and he has long, dark Furtively, hair. I don't know this word. Furtively. Okay. What the hell are you looking at? Um, I just wanted... Look, I'm just waiting here for someone, and I don't want to be disturbed. Got it? Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay, buddy. I won't try to talk to you again. Let's talk to this fellow. Sat at the bar is a man drinking. He wears a pair of jeans and a black shirt. His blonde hair is long and untidy. He's in conversation with the bartender as I approach him. Hey, I'm talking. Why don't you piss off? But... Ooh. I don't want to have to tell you twice. All right. See ya. See ya, buddy. Sat at the bar, facing out across the room is a man who looks as if he's in deep thought. He drums his fingers on the bar and is looking blankly across the room. His clothes look expensive and he wears a gold ring. I wonder what is this grammar construction like sat at the bar? They use this construction quite often in this game. But I, I think I've never met it before. Is it some British usage or what? Like the, the verb is first. Or it's some literary, literary usage. Okay. As I approach the man sat at the bar, he gives me a stern look. Pardon me. The man continues talking to the person next to him. No. And ignores <laughs> look, they're all very help me? unwelcoming the man stops here. Talking, turns round and bares his teeth. Uh, right. I think I'll be going. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that's. What I should do. Pump. 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 A beer pump that has name of the beer lit up on the front panel. On the back of the pump is a small control switch that controls the flow of the of beer. You must buy a drink if you want one. Okay. And the same card reader scanner. 
large white card reading machine that removes money from cash cards. The front has a display screen on it that currently lists the prices of various drinks. You don't really want to drink right now. So we can inspect monitor. Suspended from the ceiling on a metal arm is a monitor. So, like they use the same grammar structure over and over again. The first goes the verb, like in past tense, and then the rest of the sentence. Strange structure, at least for me. I don't think that it's commonly used. The TV picture is unstable and the reception poor. The case is battered, battered and marked and a small red light flickers below the screen. Is it a misspelling? It should be R-E-D, just red light. What's going on here? Someone has broken the channel change switch. Okay, uh, so what is this? Neon sign. Neon sign. A red? Yeah, they just misspelled the word for, for the color, I guess. Otherwise, I don't know what it means. A red neon sign on the wall behind the bar says Budweiser in large letters. The sign lights up um, the, the glasses stack below it with red light. And there's definitely something wrong with the text here. Okay, um, let's talk the to bartender. The bartender stands behind the bar, lazily smoking a cigarette and speaking in a low voice to the man opposite him. As I approach, he looks at me with suspicion. They all look at me with, this, with suspicion. What can I get you? I've been told I can get some help here. Oh yeah? By who? Um, my friend's name is Lewis. Lewis King. Lewis King, yeah. I've seen him around here a couple of times. I need a gun. I mean, I, I don't know much about them. Well, Mr. Silverman deals with all that. You'll need to see him. Go to his office. The number on the door lock is 522. Five, two, two. Okay. How will he know who I am? I'll ring through and tell him you're on your way and that you know Lewis. The office is down to your right. Make sure you have some money. Oh, right. I will. And thanks. Okay, so... On, on our right, so here is... Oh no, that's... That's a very dirty toilet. Think. This grubby little sink has a crack in it, so large that any water that runs into it leaks onto the floor almost straight away. Uh, the, thing is, the sink is more or less useless. Okay, uh, so we have this atrocity. Oh my god, my god. The toilet here is in a disgusting mess. In fact, you can hardly bring yourself to even look at it. <laughs> let, alone actually, let alone actually use it. There is no way I'm going anywhere near that. <laughs> okay, so there's literally some, some mess on the floor here. But I, I can't inspect it. Okay, so there are three of these urinals in the toilet and they all look equally dirty. The bowls are cracked with age. You don't want to at least not here. Okay, yeah, that's wait, dryer. Let's do hand dryer. On the toilet wall you see a hand drying machine. It has a list of rather obvious instructions on it that you uh, that tell you to place your wet hands under the vent. You place your hands under the dryer and it quicker dries your hands. Yeah. Okay, so let's visit 
this boss guy, I guess. So there are two guys here. Let's talk to them. The man lies slumped across the table. Like most of the people here, he's wearing just jeans and a shirt. On his wrist, he wears a... The man doesn't make a move. Excuse me, can you... The man mutters something slurred and... Hey! There's no... Re oh, for... Okay, so... There's no use in talking to him. Monitor. This monitor is suspended from the ceiling on a metal arm. A wire runs... A wire runs from the back of the monitor and disappears into the ceiling. A light flashes just below the screen. You press the switch on. You press on the switch, but nothing happens. Okay. So pool table. You run your hand over the pool table, and you can't believe the state it's in. The blue felt has several large tears in it, and the ball spots are barely visible. Okay. So black. Tall beer glass that has a hairline crack, crack in the side, and a chip on the rim. It's empty. Let's talk to this guy. A bald-headed man sits at the table smoking. The man watches me as I approach, and he doesn't seem too pleased that I've chosen to speak to him. He what do you want? I need some information. People around here just keep themselves to themselves. It doesn't. What do you mean? What I mean is. If you keep asking questions, someone will shut you up. I see. I yeah. doubt it. Catch you later. <laughs> okay, see. You don't think it would, it would be a good idea to crowd the people near the sea. Okay, so. Yeah, who would just to stand up and put their drink on one of these shelves? The shelf fits neatly into the right angle of the wall, and there is a small bright purple light embedded in the front of the shelf. You lean casually on the shelf. Okay. So here I guess we go downstairs. Uh, there is this boss. But I think that's that's it for today. Uh, if anyone watches this, as always, thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.